CBS News correspondent David Bagno is in the partially destroyed town of Paradise, California. The sun is being smothered by the smoke in this area, and that orange glow indicates that the fire is still burning. All right, here's the good news. The winds have died down. Firefighters are getting the upper hand. There's 5% containment now. But within the last 24 hours, the fire exploded from 20,000 acres burned to 70,000 acres. An estimated 1,000 structures have been destroyed. And the question we're still waiting to get answered, how many people may have been killed because they couldn't get out fast enough? Some of the stories we're hearing are incredible. People who got in their cars tried to evacuate but in some cases were running up against fire that was on both sides of them, so they evacuated their vehicle, abandoned it on the side of the road, and ran for their lives. People who went to concrete parking lots at a supermarket or a CVS and stood in the parking lot as the fire burned around them. People who decided not to get in the line to evacuate because it was so badly backed up, or in some cases, the evacuation route had been cut off by fire. We're at a home that's been destroyed, leveled. I met the homeowner because he stopped our news crew and asked if we knew a good way to get out of town. And I said to him, Did you, are, were you staying in the evacuated area? And he said, yeah. He goes, we didn't leave because we didn't want to leave our pets behind. And when we looked at the line to get out of town, it was way too long. So he said they went right behind their house in a horse pasture. Doesn't have much grass, just a little bit of hay. And they stood in that pasture while everything burned around them. Their house, their neighbor's house, another neighbor's house. They're still alive. Five of their 11 cars on the property burned and the house is gone. The big question is how many people may have died. I mean, we, I, I've been told by officials, yeah, David, we, we expect that there are going to be fat fatalities. The question is how many? That's what we're still waiting to get answers to. But again, the good news, the winds have really died down. Firefighters are now attacking this fire. They spent the last day just trying to save lives. I mean, at one point, they weren't even worried about trying to stop the flames. They couldn't. They were just worried about getting people out. Now they're actually fighting that fire. Um, as Friday marches on, but again, look at this, incredible, right? Nine o'clock in the morning, and you'd swear it's nightfall. Back to you. Incredible images, David, thank you.